All right, tubes. This is what you've been waiting for. This is uh, the beginning of our radial engine, three-cylinder radial engine. Mm -hmm. Mike started tearing this one down already. It's an odd color, huh, Mike? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen green, but never, never nothing like that. It's Part almost like Pennsylvania real mower. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? This one wasn't too bad. This had a lot of carbon in this engine. It wasn't complete when we got it. It was just a, just a block, pretty much. Right. A lot of carbon. Oh yeah, that was it. It had no, uh... Wow, yeah. Look at all the carbon on that. It's crazy, Mike. Wow. Yeah. But this one, there uh, didn't have a... What didn't it have, Mike? Didn't have a carburetor, didn't have exhaust, didn't have... No, a... no, it didn't have the starter cup. Yeah. It's pretty much just a block. Yeah, but that's all we need is this block. And then this other one here... Check out, Mike. That, one, that one's falling apart. It's been that... Yeah, it's pretty rough. Yeah. Okay. That's the flywheel's not even attached. Look, yeah. spin it, spin it with your finger there, Mike. Yeah. It's not even attached. Yeah. But uh, that one here is pretty sorry. But this one here, this is a jewel here. We looked at this and uh, it's even got spark. Yeah, good spark. Show that, Mike. Oh, it's tight. Forget about that, Mike. But uh, we might even throw gas in that one and just uh, start it up. Just for fun. Just for fun, yeah. But uh, they're all. Uh, Oh, you know what, Mike? This one here is a, a Sears engine. Yeah, yeah, it's got the 500. Got the 500. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that 500, Briggs, uh, they they use that designation for Sears engines. I think Sears still uses something like that. But anyway, they're all 5S's, and uh, we're going to tear them down. We weren't going to start this till uh, November or so, but things are slow around here right now. We have nothing to do today, so might as well uh, see what we got. All right, if we see anything uh, interesting, we'll uh, let you know. All right, Mike just left. He took the block home with him and a pin the piston and a connecting rod, and I think he's just he's just going to look at it and examine it and you know see what he can do with it. And I think uh, I'm going to take this one off here. This looks like the worst engine here because this one here uh, carburetor is just on, and somebody used some kind of panhead bolts, and you know, like I say to. This here is just spinning on there, there's no nut. But uh, we're only going to use the block. Let me see. We're probably, probably only going to use actually the head from maybe, you know, this, uh, this part right here. You know, and then uh, make our own block. But I'm not going to take this one apart because this one, this one looks like it's going to start. And uh, just for fun, we'll see how it runs. You know, I've seen something interesting on here. Somebody had a... Here's the exhaust pipe. And then somebody has this hose coming out of here. Almost like they use it for vacuum. You know, it might, it might have been sucking something out for a sprayer or something. I don't know, but it's interesting when you look at these old engines on what's, what some people have done to them. But, uh, so uh, let me take this one apart. Like I say, we're, here's... Mike, like I said, Mike took the piston and the connecting rod, and the head and the valves are in here. These are the parts we're keeping. And then we got a bucket of parts that uh, we don't use. We got the, the air cleaner and the, the coil and the backing plate and the flywheel, the housing, all kinds of stuff here. Oh, yeah, there's, there's the, the base down there, you know, oil, oil pan. And the, the pull rod, we're throwing out more than we're using, so. Alright. Let me stop wasting the film here, and I'm, I'm probably going to take this one apart now. Alright. Alright, Mike is tearing down his other one. I was going to tear it down, but I didn't get a chance. So he's got nothing better to do. He's going to tear it down. He says he's got a, a bolt there that's about eight, 8 inches long. Let me see if I can look at it. Hey, yeah, yeah, Mike. I'm not sure what's going on What the here. hell's going on with that? I just don't know. Rookies. Who knows? Look, there's the other one. Hmm. Oh, boy. Hmm. Oh, well. This okay. one actually looks good inside, Mike. Yeah. This is the one that was tight. Look, somebody, somebody's had this apart. Look at the yeah. valves. Yeah, look at that. Interesting. This is the one where the shroud was full of water, too, right? Yeah, and the flower was loose. Oh, yeah, look at that. It had no coil. No, uh, I, we didn't know it had a, it had a spark plug wire in there. Huh. They were, they were trying to fake us. How about that? And the points uh, cover's missing. Look so. at that. That's why you only pay $5 for an engine. That's right. 
You don't know what you get. These, aren't, these aren't worth any more than $5. Don't let them tell you any different. All right. Five, ten bucks, that's it. I, I feel like I got ripped off now since I don't even have a coil. Yeah. Uh, you continue on, buddy. I want to have a wheel in there. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out soon enough. Please. Nope. No? Well, a little bit at the bottom. All right. Keep going, buddy. All right. Don't forget to mark it. This is this will be number. This will be B. Letter B. Yep. Letter B. All right. All right. This uh, this engine is in, in pretty sad shape. Looks like somebody had to put a homemade gasket on it. And yeah, they don't. <laughs> the hole for the dowel pin don't even yeah. line up. That's another thing. It was missing the dowel pin. Don't miss one dowel pin. Yeah. And then the. We're not going to use it, but uh, the end is, is the, the shaft is stripped. Mm. The threads. You know what it is? These old engines have reverse threads, and some people don't know. All right, they find out the hard way. They find out by stripping shit. But uh, we're not going to use a crank anyway. We're probably going to have to make our own crank. Mm. But as long as the, the cylinder is okay, we're fine because mm. we're not going to use the block. Everything is basically we're going. To, this is basically going to be. Uh, a scratch build engine. Right. The only thing we're going to be using is a cylinder. Cylinder heads. And maybe maybe a cam? Probably won't even use that. No, it's, yeah. Hmm. It's not going to be anything you've ever seen before. That's it. Alright. Keep going, buddy. Alright. Alright, here's a rod that came out. I don't know if you see it. That rod is uh, really shot. Can't get my camera to focus here. Hmm. Shabastoni. No, you know what it is. It's the light in here. Sony's for goofs, Mike. Got what you got? What's that camera you got? Sony? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, yeah. 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 oh, Christ. You don't need that one. We're not using those anyway. Yeah, but we're going to use the mini bike. Yeah, we're, we're not going to use these rods anyway. We're going to have to custom make our rods, but still. That's why I say, you know, don't pay more than $5 for the damage. Yep. There's so many of them out there. Yep. How about that cylinder wall, Mike? We are using that. Yeah, it should be all right. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Hopefully all the moisture stayed down, looks yeah. like. Hey, yeah, look at the valve, it's kind of shiny. Yeah, for all, for all the issues this engine's having so far, it looks like somebody, the guy who had it apart, cleaned the valves up and never ran yeah, it. Yeah, even the head, they cleaned the head and everything. He cleaned it all up and threw it out in the rain Finally or said to hell with it, yeah. It couldn't start, so he just threw it in a, a puddle. Hmm. All right, here's the engine in the C. We're going to see just for fun to see if it's... We're going to see if it starts because it looks like it's being in pretty good shape. Yeah, it's got this is actually the Sears and Roebuck engine. Yeah. All right. Ooh, sounded good, Mike. Maybe. Sound good, buddy. Oh, that didn't sound good. Ah, I heard something. Oh, I, I seen some know. blue smoke. Did you? It did. Huh. Did the kids say it? I didn't say it. Oh, man. Uh-oh. They're going to stuck exhaust valve. Oh, uh, that's not good. That's funny. Look at that. Nothing. Uh, huh. We just right. lost compression. Yeah. yeah. So much for that. Okay. Maybe all right. Today. Maybe we start on uh, one, one uh, valve. <laughs> oh, well. We're just seeing for fun. We're going to have to take the engine apart anyway. We just want to see if it started for fun. All right, enough of this. All right, we see what the problem is here. This thing is, is loaded up with carbon. Unbelievable amount. Spin it over, Mike, look. I don't know if you can see that, but that one uh, valve got a big, big hunk of carbon in it. Right there, I'm gonna snap it off, Mike. There you go, look, that's crazy. And that, jump, that must have jumped right under the valve. So, I guess we just gotta put the head back on, Mike. Right? Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. We'll get it. We'll yeah, get let's it get the air and blow it yeah, out. Yeah, blow it right out. Right Scrape it up a little bit. We'll get this baby going. All right. Just for fun. All right. So it goes to show you something. Something as small as and something as silly as that would cause an engine to stop running. Mm-hmm. That, that, that caused many of an engine to get thrown out. Oh yeah. All right. Let's get this baby running, Mike. All right. Uh, Mike put the back, put the head back on it, and sprayed uh, some stuff in there. We'll see if it starts. Here we go.
really smoke too bad either. Yeah. You know, that's just some stuff you sprayed in there. Oh, listen to that. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good, buddy. It was. Not too bad. Thank you very much. Yeah, all that smoke coming out of here is from uh, Mike spraying that. Yeah. That yeah. this loose stuff in there, mm -hmm. loosening it up. Not too bad. Nah. Well, at least we know one was good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's tear it up. Alrighty. All right. Here's something interesting. Uh, Mike just took the shroud off of this, and we knew from looking at the side of this engine it was a clean engine because there's, you know, the, the paint is scraped and stuff, but there's there's not a ding or dent in the, in the whole shroud. But he took the shroud off, and man, the inside of this is so clean and sharp. Feel this, Mike. Feel how sharp that is. I know. It's just like no wear on it. So yeah, it's like it was never used. And the throttle and everything is is everything is nice and crisp. Even the ignition here, the ignition here is there's nothing, no dirt or anything on this. It's, it's incredible. Untouched. Got the original wire end and everything. Yeah, it's untouched. crazy. Yeah. You don't, really, you don't usually around. see them like this. Usually they're all hacked up like that when we like let them be yeah. over here. Yeah, yeah. They're all hacked up. Yeah, we're so up. used to seeing junk. Mike had some reservations, and you never hear that out of Mike. Mike says, "Let's cut it up," but he says, "Geez, it's a shame." And I gotta agree with him. It's a shame, but uh, there's a yeah, there's a million dollars out there. There are. They are. Oh well. We'll decide whether to use this or not, but uh, for now, we'll tear it up. Mm -hmm. Alright. Here's a look on the inside. Oh, uh, Mike took the flywheel off. Look how shiny that. Uh, that flywheel? Look at that. Wow. That's ridiculous, Mike. Hey, hey, what year is that? Is that on the flywheel? No. Oh, there you go. Wait a minute. 52? Wow. It's an older one, too. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, even behind here, Everything is pristine. It's got to be the nicest engine I've ever seen, Mike. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. Even the nut. Mike even commented on the Sorry. nut here. It's got paint on it. Yeah. Original. Wow. Even even the, the edges on this nut here. It. Yeah, they're so crisp and sharp. I almost cut myself. <coughs> That's crazy, Mike. I almost feel guilty doing anything this, but... This was destined for the junkyard, believe that. It was. Yeah. You're right. Hmm. You're not kidding. Well, if we didn't buy this engine for five dollars, right. it would have been, been scrapped. Scrap pile. Yep. All right. At least it'll live on. Yes, will. Yes, will live on, unless we destroy it. Oh well, <laughs> we are. We are gonna. We are gonna cut it up and destroy yeah. it. The, destroy the it. Has, it's, good, it's not gonna be a five S anymore, but hmm. its its essence will go to a greater purpose. The It'll cylinder head will live on. Yeah. All right. It's a fifteen R. They say the rods and everything. All right, we got this all tore down. This thing is really pristine inside. It's unbelievable. But, yeah. uh, like I say, all we're going to use is the head. Everything else from here down is probably going to get cut off and discarded. Yep. Just going to cut right there. Yeah. So that's it. I guess, I guess this will be the part one of our tear down. And uh, we'll part see what happens. Series, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're ahead of schedule right now. Like I said, we usually don't start these till November. But, uh, it's almost October. It is. So today is what almost the last day of September. So. 29th, yeah. All right. All right. Enough of this.